in this video i will be telling you how to create some basic shapes in uh, corel draw uh, in corel draw there are various tools for the for drawing the various shapes like for the rectangle we have this rectangle tool and it has the shortcut key uh, f6 you can press f6 on your keyboard and your uh, rectangle draw tool will be activated and simply you uh, hold and press the mouse button and uh, drag it until you have the required uh, shape and required dimension then you can simply fill in the color or whatever you want and uh, then we have also we have the ellipse tool you can create some well balanced uh, ellipse or you can create circles by adjusting the height and width and uh, let me just fill a color in it okay so the next tool is the complex star tool uh, this tool it contains a polygon star complex star spiral graph paper so let me just show you what a polygon does it simply draws a polygon and you can later on fill the change fill the color you can change the stroke and you can change all you can also change the dimension at a later stage whatever property you want to set for the objects so here we have the star tool here we have another tool for the star which is complex star so this is the complex star tool this is the complex star and the next tool is the graph paper it is something like a grid uh, wherein you can uh, fill some color fill some text and uh, make it as per the graphic requirement or whatever the project you are doing and uh, the next to shape is the spiral it simply creates a spiral which is a uh, open figure so you can f you cannot fill some uh, color in it it will remain open so the next tool is uh, the basic the basic shape tool the basic shape tool comprises of various uh, sort of figures in one stack so after you have selected the basic shape you will see a quadrilateral here right next to the to this mirror vertically and uh, it will be altered as perfect shape if you hover your mouse over it so simply simply uh, click on it and you will see a list of shapes uh, like the first shape is the that of a quadrilateral uh the next shape is of the sort of pyramid but it is still a quadrilateral the next is the that of a triangle then we have the this plus operator and then uh, there and each and every shape will have this red uh, red button uh, using this red button you can adjust the shape like in the plus figure I can sh uh, select the side of the the plus I can make it like this or I can simply uh, narrow it down to look it like this make it look like this so th next we have a cylinder this is the cylinder tool and I'm gonna make it uh, move like this so this way you can change uh, the view of the shapes let me just scroll down to make some space let's scroll up okay the next shape is uh, this this uh, four 3d rectangle and using this red button here I can uh, make it look as a I can give it a bevel effect and then later on I can give it some color like this so it, these are all very basic tools and uh, you will not require any other tools other than the ones provided the tools provided are more than enough to do whatever you want to do so the next figure is uh, this one you can use this to make it look like this or you can uh, sorry you can then uh, modify it to be like this uh, the next shape is uh, that of a uh, inverted U or you can call it the mm, 
the u magnet like a u magnet that you study in science you have a heart you have a lightning lightning shape let's give it a cool shape okay let's move on to the next shape it is that of a water drop you can uh, fill some color that matches uh, water so the next shape is uh, the plus shape with uh, the rounded edges so let me just see what i can do with these see uh, i can change in the entire shape using this uh, red corner pinpoint i can uh, make it look like this or i can simply uh, drag it all the way till it settles in this shape so these are all the regular basic shapes and then we have the arrow shapes let me just uh, make some space here okay now let's see what are the arrow shapes here uh, after i have selected arrow shape on the left side i will see the arrows there are various types of arrows like this again it has that red dot to uh, adjust the head of the arrow uh, i can i can make it like this look like this or i can make it look like this or i can move it uh, down so that it has a back and a broad head arrow head the next arrow is that of uh, two headed arrow i can uh, hold this red point and make them look like this or i can uh, make them look like this the next arrow tool is that of a four headed arrow uh, let me just fill some colors so there is there is this the red point i am going to hold it want to see what it can do i am going to so what it it basically expands the arrow head it makes all the four arrow heads uniform and similar the next arrow head is that of a three arrow heads it contain three arrow heads uh, same is the case with this i can make it look like this or i can make it look like the typical arrows then i have this speedy arrows i can make the arrow head bigger or smaller or broader however i want it this is the one uh, the basic arrow it can also be made into a triangle the next is uh, like this so i am going to make it look like this so that it matches with this figure the next shape is uh, that of these type of arrows which have a bottom broad bottom i am going to hold the red portion and i am going to modify it i can make it like this or i can take it all the way to the top and make the arrow head uh, like this so there is there is a whole lot of uh, space for room for optimization of all these shapes uh, these yellow points are used to control the arrow heads and this red point is used to control the edges of the two sides there we have the this type of arrow for the four headed arrow shape now holding the red i can make it like this or i can make it all the way to the back like this i can make the arrow heads like this and uh, i can make the arrow triangles the apex po portion like this so there is a whole lot of room for optimization the corel road team has already provided all these things you just got to work on it and uh, there is there are other figures also like uh, the flow chart the shapes that you normally use on you normally use on flow charts the cylinders the triangle the the circle with four circle the partition circle then we have the banner shapes let me just let me show you banner shape also this is a typical banner and this is the filled uh, banner 
there are various types of banner like this one like that of a uh, waving flag and this is the f banner which which uh, which is uh, more lifted on the top portion then we have another type of banners like this uh, like the ones you usually see on the pamphlets of uh, uh, the retail shops and in and they have written like uh, the sale bumper sale all these logos are made using these banners then we have this here which is slightly a different variant of uh, this one so there is a whole lot of room of shapes and you can even create your custom shape then we have call out shapes like this suppose uh, there is a picture and uh, the in the picture user is the person is same say saying something or thinking something or want to say something and then all these things are depicted using the call out shapes uh, so guys uh, this has been a long video there has been a lot of uh, shapes that i have discussed see all these shapes that i have discussed uh, the basic shapes like uh, this rectangle ellipse pentagon star this is the flow chart and the call out shape the call out call out again star complex star this is the beveled one this is the smiley this is the graph paper the grid this is the typical rectangle this is the circle and you can go back on this video and watch the video again if you want to uh, to know about them again so guys thank you for watching this video see you the next time see you next time